everyone, we've got an exclusive cash game in London by the Triton Super High Roller Series. These are the current stacks as it stands. My name is Randy Liu, also known as Naranoko, and we really just got this nice collective group who are poker enthusiasts, they love to play the game, they will splash the pot when necessary, and to kick things off, it is Phil Nagy, the owner of WPN, Ace Jack Offsuit, opening the 7K, and swiftly called by Dalman Fu, who really made a splash over in Vietnam when he entered his first Triton stop, winning a title for 1.67 million. Also called by Tony G, a legend in itself in poker, as well as Santos Savarna. 10, 7, 4, 2 clubs. Currently, Tony G with the best hand, although there is one overcard. Let's see if Tony G can find the bet, and he does. 26k into 30. Clearing out the field. Tony G's on fire. Qualifying. Get a water hose, cool you off a little bit. <laughs> You get some right? <laughs> yeah. Good. Tony G doesn't play all the time, but when he does, he always likes to stop by a Triton stop where the highest stakes are possible. What are we going to do during the break? What are we going to do during the break? Anything special? Song and dance? Try and get some, you know, curious little content with the interviews. Really? See how you feel. Tan Shuen, three betting, six five of hearts while eating. Gets called by Santos Suvarna, cold, 17k. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna price in Tony G, ace deuce offsuit, so 56k in the middle. That sounded exciting, whatever it was. Ace, nine, seven, two clubs, and Tanjuan wiping his mouth, getting serious with the worst of it. Does have the pre-flop progression. Inside straight draw, looking for that eight. Ideally, looking to take it down on the flop. He drops in, it appears to be 34K. Can't get Tony G to fold Ace Deuce. And the Deuce is gonna make Tony G feel very comfortable hoping Tan Schwen's got that Ace King, Ace Queen that's gonna continue to fire. Tan now contemplating a multi barrel with this 6 5. But he did size up on the flop, so he might think the 7 and 9x would just fold at that point and all things up against an Ace. So he does check. And now we've got a full house. Immediately grabbing pot size bet, 125k, thinking that no ace would fold as played. And he can represent busted clubs. Winner. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Mommy, bye bye. I am Groot. <laughs> right, okay, well. My poker coach. Nobody knows what he's telling me. He says, I am Groot. No, come on. Uh huh. Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy, accompanying Phil Nagy. So, is that a dirty stack or is that how you count your chips? <laughs> no, some people do that. It's, it's, I'm not smart enough to do that, but some people do. It's treble. So we got a straddle here from Tony G. Jack Force suited. 11,000. Just gonna make the pre-flop raise sizes larger. King 10 offsuit makes it 11k.
top two pair for Tony G. Looking good. Report that Tan Shuan thinks that Tony's just gonna have to check fold quite a bit. Makes it 12k. And a quick check raise to 40k. Tony trying to build that pot. However, it seems that Tan Shuen is actually giving this some thought. Maybe he thinks that Tony G isn't as strong as he is, especially from the straddle. But to float a hand like this would be a little bit ambitious. Trying to just figure out what does Tony G have? Would he check raise like a straight draw that maybe he can make a play at? Maybe some very weak jacks that might take a shot at it. And he is counting out chips. This is action heavy. 114,000 on a stone bluff on the flop. Note how deep they are. No funny business here for Tony G as he 4 bets to 250,000 on the flop. Quarter million. Tans out. He's heating <laughs> up. <laughs> Qualified. Every, every hand is pure. Oh. Pure bread hands. <laughs> Obviously, right? Your daughters may never do anything else the rest of their life. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to have to sit here. Yeah. It's no longer fun when the bunny's got the gun. That's yeah. what they say, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, That's the truth. It's easy to bully me, push me out. Think I'm finished, but I want to so fight back. back. That's a race or a straddle? Yeah, start on the race straddle. You are one wascally wabbit. <laughs> No, but all correct. Always right. qualified. 31,000. <laughs> Last jaw. No, no, no. Jack four. Jack four. Jack four spades. Always qualified. Every hand qualified. <laughs> I never bluff. If you check, if you read, look at the book, Tony G never bluffed. Very rare. You're lucky. You have a book? Huh? You have a book? I had jack four spades. No, you have a book. If you read the book. Oh yeah, the book. You have a book? <laughs> yeah, not yet, but I mean, it's uh -huh. like online. <laughs> it's just like, it's virtual reality book. Hmm? Strata? Oh. <clears throat> Did you send me a nice photo? Yeah. Someday I'll learn to read. Then I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll take a look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote a book in my head too. In virtual reality. I tell myself lots of stories. So Indonesia's Ferdinand Putra betting 20k despite the two overcards trying to take it down here and now. Tan Xuan in a tough spot. Does make the correct call though. Also brings along Santo Suvarna hunting that deuce for the wheel. Now can also make a straight if you can hunt that six as well with the double gut shot. Check. Check. <clears throat> it's actually Santo Suvarna who's now going to take the betting lead, knowing that if he does get called, he still has clean outs. I don't know his straddle. What a play. We pay you. Santosh winning 106,000 in that pot. Very nice hand, sir. Very nice hand. Very nice bet. Very nice something. I am Groot. He liked it too. 
think Santosh liked it more. No, oh, what the heck? No, I shouldn't. Uh, he's saying I shouldn't, so he's always wrong. So on to the next hand, Santos Suvarna straddling to 4K. Dalman Fu Ace-8 offsuit. Gonna make it 20K because Phil Nagy actually double straddled to 8K himself. Does get called in two spots as Nagy drops in the chips. Six six deuce rainbow. Okay. Nothing for everyone, but it is Dalman Fu as the pre flop progressor who can really just fire away, expecting his opponents to just have to give up. Firing 28,000 here. Not too much Phil Nagy can do here unless he really wants to try and represent a six. Which he does not. I had Mr. Dow. Yeah. Poker ace. Poker ace, only ace. One ace beat me. Bill Santa, first hand I lost me to Tony Z, 300k. First hand. Yeah. Let me driver. This is there. Unlucky. Oh. Ace eight against ten ten. You hit the hit river. Yeah. I hit eight. It's cheap river. Need trip eight. Trip eight. Oh. Good deal. Up. Might have something brewing here. Santos Suvarn of Ace Eight of Clubs going to raise 17k. Nagi of Six Deuce of Hearts. Not the greatest hand, but when you've got position and suitedness, definitely worthy of a call. Completely whiffing on this mile into on board, both players. This is the first one to bet that wins. You have on the list, you want to have a drink? Here comes Putra, Jack Eight of Hearts. Suited two gapper. Yeah. Yeah. Getting called by the four deuce suited as well as seven five all suit. Nagi, you face queen. How does he want to approach this one? In the big. Gonna try to juice up this pot, clear out the field a bit. 37k squeeze. Gets to the best looking hand of the three I other am opponents. Pick one? All three. You pick mm -hmm. the other one. Is. One more is. 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 Rockets. Ace Queen. Is. Is Queen not good? Ace Queen is. That's, I love the Queen. The ladies love me. They mm. always show up. Five rich hand. Hmm? Your favorite hand? Uh, <laughs> only when I win with it. <laughs> He's clean. Okay. 
folding over the Santos Savarna on the button. Any ace is good for a raise. So Santos, who won at the end last night? Was there any big, big pots? Last night? I lost two. You won? No, lost two. Three, thirty. Okay. Who got some back? The... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Super pro. One million plus, yeah? Mm. Millionaire. Yeah, he won million. How much you win? Million plus. How much you win? Mm -hmm. uh, 145. Okay. Nice. And here comes the set for Dalman Fu. A quick round of checks on the turn, and the ace is one of the worst cards for Sancho Stuvarn as he make aces up. Hold this in the crisis. I don't know why. I was just completely against him. I don't know what he had. I think the best hand is he punch. Yeah, I don't know if I should have pulled my queens there. But Santos is behind. Yeah, that's why also. Santos is in the pot. Yeah. I'm also, he's you know, 16. Santos probably made 66 and then I'm on a button, but Santos is still in. So, King Queen is either just good or really bad. <laughs> and you lose the whole stack. Way ahead, way behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the point. You gotta get a heads up pre. <laughs> so Dalman Fu is able to find the check raise despite flushes and straights getting there on this river card. He must feel that Santosh would fire like a king queen. Two hearts quite a bit on the turn. I played with everybody, yeah. Five cards time. Great fold for Sancho Suvarna. I have a blood you. Okay. Ooh. 18 when I basically started. Even before I started playing. Can I have a blood you? I have a blood. Same. We like blood. Like. <laughs> Still more or less addicted. For periods of not gambling. <laughs> I think the only person that bluffs more than me is Santa. Mm. We're, we're, the, we're the ones that bluff. Everybody else just beats us. I bluff. Oh, no, he's, 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 he's this, is the, this is the bluffing end of the table right here. He's my master. <laughs> I never bluff him. I also have never bluffed him. I will straddle. I bluff everyone but equally. I bluff three way, four way. I bluff everybody equally. Equal opportunity bluffer. Or fluffer, whatever you want to call me. Let's go with Bluffer. Looks like Tony G going to defend the straddle. As we play this 35k pot, he's got Queen Jack of Diamonds against Santosh's A7 offsuit who flops best with top pair. His hand is pretty much over unless Tony G wants to get cute, which he does not. A little pickup there for Santosh. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. Santosh Suvarna. Frequenting the double straddle makes it 8k with King Queen offsuit and the Ace 5 offsuit is exposed for Putra. Tony G trying to get in cheap. As does Tan Xuan. The Santosh looking to play for more makes it 30k. I know you're gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Winner, once again. <laughs> Santos Suvarna has become a household name at the Triton series, playing all of the highest stakes possible, both cash games and tournaments. Thank you. Oh, yeah. 
So on to the next hand. Nagy picking up. Pretty suited hand. Queen 10. 14. 14. But an even prettier hand right behind him is Dao Min Fu holding Ace King suited. He'll be looking to play for stacks against Nagy. You're gonna size up to 44k. <clears throat> Gets Tony G out, King Queen offsuit. Queen 10 suit is one of those hands that has a lot of playability, even out of position. And if you're up against Ace King, you're doing all right, pre. Just comes out rather bricky. 6 4 deuce. Both players picking up a backdoor flush draw. Gonna be very hard for Nagy to do anything about this continuation bet to 37k. He wants to get involved, but he's out. Seems like he nor group knows the answer to that one. But did find the right fold. Two point five X the straddle the ten K. Tony G quickly in there of King Jack suited with the position. Here comes along one of the most aggressive players in the game, Tan Xuan, fifty five K, which is five four suited. Let's see if he can shake Tony G who's got position. Doesn't want to play of tan and lets him get away with that one. Oh. And a rabbit hunt. Man. So we got an ace rag here, first position under the gun, gonna open up. Once again, the 2.5x, however this time, no straddle in the hand, so just 5k. Santosh a little stick here, 9-6 offsuit and small comes along and Nagy, king nine of clubs, gets to complete with the call. Only connection here is Dao Min Fu with bottom pair, but he's going to check it right back. And the king comes right in for Phil Nagy, who continues to check the preflop razor, setting the trap, trying to induce successfully, does make the check call, and the queen might be worrisome for Dao Min Fu to represent that king once more, so does check it back and the king is good.
Jack 10 off suit for Tony G. He's in. Santos going to come along. 10 9 off suit in position. Nagy picks up Cowboys in the small. Looking to set the price upstairs. Santos feeling sticky. Just 10 9 offsuit. It's a queen high board. Very good for Phil Nagy. A lot of times, Santosh does hold a queen in this spot. Unfortunately for him, just 10 high. Gonna represent some kind of ace king that missed. Doesn't work. 25. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give him a free look at those two kings. That's 25. <laughs> Excuse me, one more sparkling water, excuse me. Yes. Yeah. One more sparkling water oh, and one more okay. double espresso. Yeah. Oh. Long day, eh? Long day, yeah. Can't sleep. I think 12 hours <clears throat> minimum today. Yeah. 12 hours of counting chips. <laughs> Hard work. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, these Hard poker work. enthusiasts are willing to play all day, every day, whether it's cash game or tournaments at these Triton stops. So double espresso makes a lot of sense. And now the big pocket pair in the hands of Dao Min Fu. It's going to set the price at 33,000 if they want to continue. A lot of times it just takes one to come along to get the party going and it is Tony G making the call which is going to entice these suited hands to want to play especially with position and Santosh never folding I wonder if Rob ever found a room maybe he was homeless And deuce, deuce, yes, deuce, deuce literally the driest flop in Nolamet, Texas Hold'em. Dalman Fu reaching for 100k, trying to represent that unpaired ace king, hoping someone's got a pocket pair that'll pay off. But really. No player with any shot at continuing, especially against this big bet. Huh? A free look, pocket queens for everyone. Chop. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, it flops. It's ring. <laughs> Yeah. One more deuce come chop chop. You the queen's dead. <laughs> I have three. <laughs> really funny, eh? <laughs> I just got him. Double straddles on, Santosh, making it 8k. Tony G. Oh, he's going for the trap, limping, just trying to get someone behind him to pump it up, which Tan Shuen is grabbing the blue chips, making it 32k. Got his customer. And normally Tony G is going to want to limp re raise his hand. But he doesn't. 
Perhaps he feels they're a bit too deep. Doesn't want to play this one out of position. With a massive pop. Does come Jack 6-5 Rainbow. Yes, Tony G does miss, but he definitely wouldn't be looking to check fold at this point with the nut no pair. Let's see if Tantron wants a continuation bet. He does. 37k. And here comes Tony. Turn card is the four, and that's going to give Tan Shuen an open-ended straight draw. It might get him to double barrel, but he needs to be thinking what kind of hands Tony G would limp call and check call his flop to check fold the turn. Knows that Jack would go nowhere. Maybe he's getting slow play. Does check it back. See if Tan Shuen can find a bet here. The thing is, he knows that Tony G likes to trap him. Does give up. Ace high. Great one for Ace King. Yeah. And everyone oh, sees the slow play. Yeah. Push. Tire. <laughs> No, On his running so good, if he were to point? stub his toe, he'd run it with gold. <laughs> Kick up some gold out of the dirt or something. Nothing bad is going to happen. Yeah, it's position was very lifestyle. I have to make it like nearly all in. Yeah, but... Yeah, it's... Are you getting up in the dirt? Course, like, race. When you bet? Yeah, but I would lose the pot yeah. Yeah. so many times. If I re-raise, he knows I have ace. But now he doesn't own my hand, it's different. No, I have a computer, I think. But he's very special. To give him special treatment. Very interesting post mortem from Tony G. Saying that passing up some EV pre. I think it's a good way to do it. In order to keep deception post. It's, it's just, yeah, one. Like, once in a while. Yeah, not always. Mix it up. Also can trap him in case he has ice. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the, the dead money is just too big to come. Really. Yeah, but the stacks are very high, so 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 it's each. Yeah. Fourteen. I don't know, it's like it changes a lot the, the deeper the stacks are. It's like three hundred K, it's pretty easy to yeah. understand. Santos Savarna turning the flush against this ace four. No connection. But then you fold like the slot. If you miss the flop, skip fold and then fold. And make some time. You've been. If you put a hundred, her style, and my style is like overfolding, and then, then I have to adjust the other way around. It's like other style it doesn't, doesn't make incorrect folds too much. Or my friend Santosh, if I put a hundred in free flop or 120, in, and I fold flop. Now Tony G getting ace 10 offsuit on the button, 13k. Should be a raise and take unless Nagy wants to get out of line. Oh, well, he's running a little too hot right now. <laughs> Hold the big hand. I could beat seven deuce. So what are you But just barely. Dorchester. Dorchester. I like Dorchester Hotel. Okay. Just here. No, just. Okay. 
The best hotel in the world. The best in the world. The, the, the place that uh, looked fine for me. It's super amazing. Yeah? It's really, really nice. It's a surprise. It's like a private pool. Global rented one next door. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Pair nine's gonna open up in the cutoff, and Nagy's got Ace Four suited in the big. Playing a hundred eighty-four k stack behind this call. Great board for Tony G. With the overpair. So the heater continues. I'm not really like looking to play. I'm not like. Uh, I mean, it's fun. It's Once fun. in a while. Yeah. Right? I mean, I can. Yeah, every game. Every, I play like. Vegas, yeah, something. I mean, four times, five times a year. It's fun. For yeah. Me, yeah. yeah. Since I, I am know. having some shirt envy there. I like <laughs> that shirt an awful lot. Yeah. Played sometimes, but we didn't to play. Santosh, you stay here? Yeah, in the same hotel, in Target. Okay. You? Uh, I rented a house. Oh. Yeah. Okay. My family's here. Family. Yeah. There's also some other games, like with uh, super rich Indians that I know. Five, six. Yeah, I'm sure. Here? Like, yeah. How big? Pretty very big, but very, like, easy. Okay. Anyone can play there? No, no. I have a friend who wants to play. Yeah, well? Yes. So Tony G flopping top pair jack kicker, Dao Min Fu with the flush draw. It is Putra who opened the paw who's going to try to represent that ace himself. It's going to get called by both opponents so he knows he's got no business in this pot now. Nine gonna pair. This is where it gets a little bit interesting is does Tony want to bet? He does. Wants to charge those flush draws. Get some value for some weak aces. There's the check call from the flush draw. And the river card is the seven. So let's see, what's the game plan for Tony G? How much does he like this ace jack? And this bet says it all, it's a pot size bet. He must figure that when he bets small on the turn, he would expect Dalman Fu to always check raise a nine. Plus his kicker is very good in the spot. Would expect ace queen plus to re-raise pre. And with this pot size bet, makes it polarizing where maybe he thinks the seven is good occasionally. Dalman Fu seems confused at the sizings. This hand is played out. But does relinquish. <laughs> but plus. Open. Yeah, but plus. Eight jack. You don't like it? No, no. Ace jack. Ace jack. Like it. I play correct cards, not plus plus. Good fault. Yeah. 
Tan Shuen, Queen Jack offsuit. One of China's most aggressive players in the game. Here comes Tony G, Ace Nine. Queen 10 6 rainbow and top pair looking good. Might be hard to get Tony G to call with just ace 9 high. But Tony knows that Tan Shuen likes to get out of line against him. So he does find a call. Does give Tony G an inside straight draw now, looking for the 8. Tan gonna play some pot control as the king drops off. Does Tony G feel compelled to bet? Does not. How thin does Tan Shuen want to value bet here in this spot with the overcard? Does he feel that Tony G might put out a block bet if he's holding a king? So maybe he can bet this one. Thirty-five K, hoping to get paid off by worse queen or like a ten X that doesn't believe. There's the surrender. It's always fun watching Tan Shuen play because he's just one of the most creative players I've ever seen play poker. Very feared, always likes to play the highest stakes possible. And he always likes to have everyone covered just to really put him in the toughest spots possible. Your Groot over there telling me, make it 16, Phil. Make it 16. No. 16? No. Not gonna do it. No? No. It's a little early and a little short. I was deeper, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the sound of me not making it 16. Yeah. So there is a double shred on, but not the triple, the 16K for Phil Nagy. Understandable because it's quite a lot. Cool. <laughs> That's they killed me. It feels like Tony G has built this reputation of being trappy. Tries to get some cheap flops. Santo Savar not obliging. Does bump it up. You're greedy, Santo. Make it less. Why? Why? Greedy. Not mine. 20. I can see your card. You can? I mean, like, when I'm not playing, it was like this. Yeah, and then. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were not playing that. Yeah. Play the cover. Okay. I mean, if I'm like Sorry, this, I, I can't see it. <sighs> it's exposed. The snowman for Phil Nagy. Your card is exposed, Phil. Huh? I think one of your cards is exposed. Huh? I don't know. Did anybody see my card? <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> no, I think but Ace? Doesn't matter. Ace is we'll just not close. We'll just, we'll just, <laughs> it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Giving you a warning. So, Tan Shuen folding 10 8 offsuit. The Santo is not going to fold 7 3 of hearts. Hmm. At least they only saw one. 
Oh. Okay. Joe Nagy. I wanted to play. Yeah. Hitting the last uh, remaining eight. I like to challenge myself. Top pair, top kicker for Ferdinand Putra. What does he do here against this small bet? Just 8K. Putra going to make it 20K, trying to get paid off by worse jacks and charge those straight draws as well as those two overs that could exist. But Nagy holding the set, quickly calling there, knowing that it's hard for him to represent Bluffs if he repops it once more. And a nine on the turn brings in some straights, like queen ten and six seven. The thing is, Putra's got to think he's got the best hand usually in this spot. He knows his hand is very vulnerable. Lots of bad river cards gonna come if he gets up against a weak jack. Does Nagy want to raise now? Enjoy. Or does he feel like he can't represent a bluff if he does check raise? <laughs> does toss in two chips, so he's got 100k back. The six is not the card that Nagy wants to see as it does kill his action. And Putra as well doesn't want to see that six. Does check it back. Big pot for Phil Nagy. <laughs> that board just kept getting scarier. I wanted to do something, but it was like... What am I going to do against who, what, where? I don't know what to do. I pay. Huh? Uh, yeah, please. Got two. Straddle. So Nagy gonna put on the 4K straddle with those Pucha trips. Oh. Oh. Baby pockets in there. Friends. Amigos. Donation. Ace, deuce, deuce, two clubs, and Tony G's got the best hand, wants to charge these hands. Doesn't want to get a free one to three random players, and gets it done. We got a multi-way pop baroon here. Four people in there. Maybe five? I think of two cards I can fold. <laughs> you can fold. Maybe I can Any card fold. Maybe eight it's three. Okay. I, it, it's, you would fold eight three? Nine eight, four? Three I, of I, it, I can't I can't think eight of three is also a hand. I can't I can't think I can <laughs> I can't if, I mean if they were both blank I might call. I might raise if they were both blank. Paired board, but it is Santos Savarna who's got two pair of sevens and sixes. I'm gonna try to thin this one out with a 15k lead. Tony G. I just got my phone from this. I, I fold, sorry. 
Oh, it's okay. Just take it out. Take it out. Six. Six. Blood. Seven. No blood. Yeah. Couple of paint here for Santos Savarna. Nagy's got pocket tens and a small blind. Gonna just flat here. What's the password? Wi Fi. Santo Suvarna flopping best with top pair queen kicker. Likes the continuation bet, so needs to fire when he's got it as well. And the king is a troublesome card for Phil Nagy as now he's got kings and tens. Flush draw present as well. And Santo Suvarna laying the trap, checking it back. Doesn't want to lose his customer. And Nagy might be thinking he's got the best hand now. Going for a block bet. Now's the time to put in that raise, the 35,000, trying to get some crying calls. Santosh would have went for a bigger sizing if he felt he was up against the king. But given Nagy's small 12k bet, more likely it's a hand like this or some weaker pair. see that Nagy's confused. Is there a chance his opponent is value raising worse like a nines and pocket eights type hand? Or is this always the king? The thing is, he probably expects a king to bet the turn at a decent frequency, especially flush draws as well. Ah, Santosh, Santosh, Santosh. Diamonds really are your best friend, aren't they? Straight. <coughs> Great lay down. Diamonds cool. <coughs> You've been nice hand. <laughs> Do cross line call pocket of redeem along the line. Double straddle. Tony G with pocket tens. In this spot, he got trappy of ace king before. Straddle, yeah. Cool. Game plan is the same, laying the trap. And once again, it is Tan Shuen pouncing on Tony G's limp. So Tony G going to play this hand disguise? No, no. Dry paired board, 885 rainbow. Does Tan Shuen want a continuation bet here or try to show this one down in position? Does opt for the ladder with the check back. And the nine going to present some flush draws and straight draws now. And Tony G betting 30k. 
trying to get these ace highs to pay off. Does get Tanshwin to call here. Breaks out with that deuce. Tony G knows exactly where his man is at with this small bet, just 40k. And for Tanshwin to call this turn, he might be thinking his opponent's got to follow through with busted straight draws and flush draws like Jack 10, Queen Jack. Tosses it in. He does. Tony G now closing in on a million dollar chip stack. Yeah. Limpers. <laughs> Lepers. I hate limpers. Yeah. <laughs> Have to punish limping. harder. Yeah. Have to just keep getting me off the hands. I will punish. Punish, 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 punish. If I'm qualified, I have to follow. <laughs> If I win, it's only dealer's fault, never my fault. I play them bad, but... It's an offsuit Queen 10 for Nagy. What would you do if it was your turn, Tony? Hold. Thank you. Just check. I have two tens. Just checking. An all heart monotone board. Santo Savarna with top pair and the Queen of Hearts smothering that Ten of Hearts in Nagy's hand. 16. Does check through, and here comes the value bet of 16K. Nagy's got two over cards to the board. Inside straight draw looking for that nine. Also might think the ten of hearts is usually good if he can hit it. Does have calling chips in hand. <laughs> With position must be ice on the cake to continue does call in 16k And the ace bit scary for Santosh Now Nagy might be thinking can I represent this ace? Maybe some aces up as well Gonna try and rep it, 32k. Santosh must be thinking this is an ace or nothing situation. Does make the call, nice. I have queen high. So, almost. Fifty-two? Fifty-two, I don't know, maybe... I call or maybe... It's okay. I have 500 behind. Ferdinand Putra gonna top up 500,000 to his stack. There's the white chips for him. 25k a piece. Oh. Hello? Chat. Tan Shuen also gonna top up 500,000. A blue and a red. He's going to sit on a 1.1 million chip stack. As we continue, Tony G limping the button, 9 7 offsuit.
Best hand is Phil Nagy with his pair of sixes, five kicker, barely pipping Santo Sivarna. Tony G with the inside straight draw. Seems interested. Hello. Hello. I'm as well. Hello. Oh. Hello. Play? Huh? Oh. What's oh. Rob. Not anymore. You don't play? Uh, I don't know. Where is he? Mr. Paul? Yeah. How are you? That is the voice oh. of Paul Paul on the side. My dad. Huh? <laughs> I lost. <laughs> only Tonight only I lost. Win. Later I lost. A little. Yeah, a little. You cannot win every day. Nobody play with you. <laughs> yeah. His friend yesterday win. 13 0. In His friend win. 1.5 million yesterday. His friend win. Yeah. Oh, 700. Okay. okay. I doubled it. <laughs> I saw the. Okay, numbers. you know better. I didn't know. Well, I think it's safe to say that Dalman Fu has been doing rather well in these cash games based on that side conversation. I've been making sets today. This time for Ferdinand Putra. Problem is Tan Shuen doesn't really have much on this very connected board. Zoom in on Tony G getting that massage. Makes for a nice ambiance. Yeah. Soothing to some, irritable to others, but as the sound of the poison dart frog of Phil Nagy. And now, blind versus blind, 9 4 offsuit, limping. See how fast I threw that in there? Just like that. Al Min Fu knows. Please Shows the Jack 3. Just give him $3,000. Free, Free money. Fresh produce delivered to Sivarna with these broccoli. 7k. Nagy getting out of line. 10 9 off. 24,000. Timing is perfect for Putra, who picks up Pocket Kings. Love to see the raise in three bed in front of him. We'll be raising the stakes up to 66k. Not looking so fresh anymore. That's out. Don't try that at home, kids. Nagy torching 24k. And the safe flop. Nantosh is gonna rabbit hunt this one. Backdoor clubs. Oh, not flush. It would have been. Pocket seven. That was you. Flop nothing. Yeah. 
double-edged sword rabbit hunting is. Sometimes you're like, well, I made a good fold. Other times, you kick yourself. Can you see you would have made a big hand? Tony G gonna sit this hand out. And now, a pair of ducks. Butra, Queen Jack of Clubs, in the small. Price of poker now, 50k to continue. Does Dalman Fu feel like he can set mine this hand? Knows Putra's been solid. Not interested. Was it out? Was it out? Yeah. Yours out. I go out. Ace rag for Putra. Gonna try to make this three in a row. Getting resistance from the big of Phil Nagy, Queen at offsuit. But no connection on this 10 4 4 rainbow board for both players. Ferdinand Putra is the pre flop raiser. Following through. Three in a row is done. Button, no. Straddle eight thousand. Double straddle for Tan Chuen. Suvarna's got pocket fours. Race twenty two thousand. Making it twenty two K. S S S S S S Not the greatest hand, Queen 4 off suit, but does get the close action. Ten six three rainbow. Santosh with the best hand, but it is two overs. Still gonna try to take this one down on this flop, 35k. Putra with ace high, lots of back doors. Like the nut flush draw or a straight draw. Does he have a plan to maybe take this pot? Also better ordering out So with that call it is 141k in the middle. Turn card is the eight. That's a disastrous card for Suvarna in case he was up against a straight draw. Some of those hands now picking up a pair. Does still have the best hand. Queen of Clubs does bring an overcard and backdoor clubs. Putris gotta know the Ace Five never wins at Showdown. So he's gonna try to win this one with a 75k bet. Terrible texture for Sofarna, who's got the best hand, lays it down, and Putra. Heater continues.
Rose to 11. Couple sevens for Nagy, who smooth calls in position. Putra's king queen. So won four pots in a row. <clears throat> oh, that's a snug laydown. Didn't feel the rush anymore. Ace high board, Tan Shuen, the preflop raiser, Nagi, with a couple sevens. Tan Shuen looking to kick out unpaired hands with this 15k bet. Nice call here with the pair of sevens. Does have some backdoor potential in case he's behind. Nagy, reaching for chips here. Knows his hand is very vulnerable. Also could get counterfeited by an ace. Well played. <laughs> you remember when Rob grabbed it, you know, somebody's chips and bet with somebody else's yeah, yeah, chips? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. So the double straddle is on. Queen Jack offsuit going to raise it up to 31k. That's a big raise. You don't even know this yet. Does kick out Ace Jack offsuit. Queen Jack as well. But not Santosh's not so double straddle. Just right. One customer. One customer. Too much. Hey, what Santos just yeah. flopping everything. Yeah. Top pair and a flush draw. Nagy does have two overcards and an inside straight draw. And Santos wants to play for it all. Nagy's got to feel sick because he knows he's got clean outs to the 10. Oh, Santos, Santos. Probably two overs. That would be good against the 9. And maybe sometimes he's up against like a jack 10 or 6 7. Nike trying to construct. The range of hands his opponent could have in this spot, which ones he beats, how much equity he has against those hands, which ones he crushed against. Does lay it down. Doesn't want to. Never fun to get denied your equity in those spots. No, I could beat Jack 10. 
No. Huh? You can beat. I can. I could beat Jack Ten. Butcher with the Ajax. Just a simple hand. Wins 9,000. A couple hooks for Dao Min Fu in the hijack. Couple seats over, and Tony G's got big slick. It's got the button too. Best position in the game 26k. The hooks are interested in this pot, so it does come along for 26k. 57 in the middle. A6-3 rainbow, as good as it gets for Ace King, top pair, top kicker, but checks it right back on the flop. It is the queen on the turn. Now it's value betting time, 25k. A non-believer down in food, that is. Check calling. Two overcards, and now a third overcard. Tony G with top two pair. Trying to get some crying calls out with this half pop bet. And he does get called despite the three overs. Lucky. Easy. Good deal or easy money? Easy money. <laughs> Issue now, I never bluff. Always qualified. <laughs> with deployment in hand, you know, I'm going to work. Do you remember the small sushi place that the first time I met you, 2019? Yeah. We were walking down. Yeah. What's the name? I forgot how to oh. get there. Is it like that way, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we always eat there. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know where it is. Yeah. Yeah. Go eat there. yeah, yeah, it's there. Uh, I guess, but some of the restaurants have changed after COVID. Cool. It should be there, yeah, it's a good one. Fu was the pre-flop raiser in this five-way pot. Putra flopping best, top pair king kicker. Loosely connected, flush draw present, Tony G with inside straight draw, one over card to the board. But it's the 18k bet into 22 that's going to be a bit pricey for him to chase and he's right out of there. Sex. Getting called by 6 4 offsuit of Dalman Fu. No connection. But an 8k bet will still get it done. Mm. 
Ace King for the straddle of Tony G to four thousand. Ferdinand Pucher with Ace Eight of Clubs folds to him in the big. Trying to take this one down pre with 16,000. However, it is Tony G who's got the three bet this one in position. Now, a bit of a tricky spot here for Putra. He's seen Tony G play a bit snug throughout this session, but he does have a suited ace with million dollar stacks. So he will be coming along here, just over a hundred thousand dollar in the middle. And Putra outflops Ace King with top pair top kicker on his Ace Five Deuce Two Diamond board. Tony G checking right back. The three of diamonds going to give Tony G the nut flush draw. Both players with the wheel draw looking for that four. Putra's gotta think ace eight is best. Gotta charge those ace kings. Doesn't have a diamond in hand, needs to protect. He also might feel that Tony G would often bet the flop if he had an overpair. So 221k in the middle. And the jack comes in, overcards the eight. Butcher might not feel that the jack is a big part of Tony G's range. And that is a block bet of 40k under 20% pot. Tony G instantly raising the 225,000 with the nut flush blocker. This has gotten very interesting. This has got to be very confusing for Putra. He put in a small bet, he knows that induces. What is his opponent representing? Flushes is the main part of Tony G's range as played. The thing is, he might think Tony G would fire the flop at a decent frequency if he was holding two diamonds. So what else does that leave? That leaves over pairs, but maybe he thinks over pairs bet the flop. Or they may play cosh and just call, as Tony G has been playing throughout this session thus far. The hand that makes the most sense that isn't a flush to value raise here would be pocket jacks that might have played some pot control on the flop. Let's see if Tony G can Putra snip this one out. He's been talking to Tony G all day on the sidelines. He knows Tony G's been snug, but this feels like a bluff to him. If Tony G had an overpair, would he even raise this big? That's the question. Wow, what a call. Incredible. Oh, bluff. Tony G bluff. Oh, my God. And with that pot, Tony G no longer the biggest winner. It is Ferdinand Putra up 339,000. So we'll continue the action next time. See ya.